And Marta here with yet another Red Gaming Tech Roundup. This time it's all Intel all the time. I know, once again, lots of tasty, tasty Intel stuff for you today. And they are benchmarks for the most part. And we have the i5-8600K today. And to be more specific, it is going to be a Geekbench 3 benchmark for you. And I've got a couple of comparisons to give you a broader picture as well. But... Let's start with the results for this first. Oh, by the way, if I sound a little hoarse, that's because I am, unfortunately. I've been struck down with the plague, or, well, to be less dramatic, a cold. But the single core score is 4113. Obviously, you know, 4113 to be a bit rounder there. And a multi-core score, which obviously is where the real money is, 19,144. Not too shabby at all. Now, obviously, before I go on to the actual comparisons, just a bit of a reminder that, of course, the 8600K has six physical cores only, whereas, for example, the 7700K has, of course, some threads as well as those physical cores. And then, of course, it has a lower default clock speed when compared to that of the 7700K. Moving on, however, to our 7700K results. Now... The single core score is 5,010, and the multi core score is 20,314. And you should be seeing on screen right about now a comparison between the two to give you a little bit of a clearer picture. And obviously, we do have the 7700K leading in a lot of ways, but obviously, the lead is a lot less than you might expect in some areas. And of course, the 80. 600k is even in the lead in some others but our fun and games do not stop there for the 8600k tonight as we have some fire strike ultra results as well now the results that were posted were with a gtx 1070 but as you probably know if you are benchmark aficionados what we're really interested in for the cpu is of course the physics score now the comparisons that I found to the two other chips I'm going to mention in a second are using a different graphics card, but again, with the physics score, it is completely on the CPU. So with that away, feast your eyes on the screen, as you will see our results coming up for your perusal. So, as you can see on the physics score for the 8600K, tested again with a 1070, not again, not that that really matters, but just for prudence sake. We have a physics score of 13,715 and a, if you're interested, a frame rate on the physics test of 43.54. And our comparisons are with the 7600K, which was tested on a 1080 tie, where the physics score was 9268, so 9,268. And our final comparison is, again, the 7700K, and I'm shocking. But it is a physics score of 17,899. And you should be seeing on screen right about now a helpful, a helpful rather, comparison between all those three physics scores. So, there we have it. Your picture is forming rather nicely of the i5-8600K. Last thing is a bit of a bonus for you. A tweet appeared on the Asus ROG... Twitter, and by the way, that is the correct pronunciation. I asked them, that's how you pronounce it, apparently. Um, can a company be wrong about their own pronunciation? Anyway, let's uh, let's move on, shall we? As they teased on Twitter that, quote, something exciting is coming soon, can you guess what it is? And, well, you can see the image, and, well, it looks like a lake of coffee, wouldn't you say? So it's pretty clear that Asus are going to be giving us some Coffee Lake motherboards to drool over quite soon, I would imagine. So for those of you who are perhaps toying with the idea of getting yourself a Coffee Lake CPU for your next upgrade, well, perhaps tuck that under your hat for future reference. So thank you very much for watching all. Your support is highly appreciated. Do remember to like and subscribe. If you haven't done so already, it does help out a great deal. And I will see you next time.